Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a wear test on the new Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wearing Makeup. This is the packaging that it comes in. I have mine today in the shade 1N1, which is Ivory Nude. This looks like it does have an SPF in it of 19, kind of an odd amount, but this is the packaging. It looks really beautiful, kind of on par with Estee Lauder's brand. This foundation is supposed to be more of a sheer undetectable formula that's supposed to be long wearing. We're going to test this out today, so let's go ahead and jump right on into it. First, I gotta get me some uh, coffee here. I'm already starting fall. I have the new uh, pumpkin cream. What is it? The uh, pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. It's delicious. I haven't tried the new apple one. You guys try the apple macchiato. Is that one any good? I know that one just released as well. Anyway, we are going to go in with this. It looks like it has a dropper type top on it. Um, and ooh, it looks like a very runny type formula. Uh, I am going to apply this with the skin with a brush first on one side. And we'll kind of see what that does. Yeah, this is actually really sheer. Just going to apply it to the brush now and apply it to the skin. Color match wise, I think it matches me actually pretty well. Just applying another layer of this and it is building on the skin and looking really natural. Um, it's supposed to be like I said, like an invisible, undetectable formula and I can kind of agree with that. It very much blends right into the skin. So this is like maybe three layers. So this is with and this is without. With, without. I don't know if you can tell that much of a difference, but it is there. Let's try the other side with my favorite e.l.f. complexion sponge here, total complexion sponge, and we'll see how it does on this side. It's actually a lot faster to apply foundation with this sponge than a brush for me. I don't know if I'm just retarded, but. I don't know, I think I'm getting like the same amount of coverage with the sponge and the brush. I'm just gonna be careful that my eyebrows, I already did my eyebrows today. I definitely put this in a category of maybe like a tinted moisturizer or a tinted foundation. It's not, it's definitely not full coverage. Um, the Estee Lauder line itself actually has a lot of different varieties of this um, double wear. Um, I think there's a maximum coverage. There's the regular, which is like a full coverage. They have light and now they have this sheer one as well. And it's a very beloved foundation for many, many, many years. I've actually not tried. Maybe I should do a video. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like this video idea, but maybe I should do makeup that's like cult favorites that I've never tried, so I can kind of try those products. But I've never tried Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I, I love makeup. There's just certain things that kind of fall underneath your radar where you just, you never buy it. That's just one of those things for me. So I'm just kind of going everywhere with the sponge now. I feel like it gives very reasonable coverage. I'd say light medium coverage. Um, but this is what we're looking like here. Very glowy, very beautiful looking skin. Kind of reminds me of that new um, L'Oreal True Match Nude Tinted Serum that I've really been loving. This is kind of giving the same vibes. I can still see some freckles and stuff across my nose, 
Um, so it's not full coverage by any means, but we're going to go over it with a little concealer. I'm testing out, guys, a lot of new concealers. I just bought the new Anastasia one that just came out, so I will be doing a ranking uh, concealers video. So today I'm testing out the Morphe 2 one. I do have the really hyped one on TikTok, the Lancome Tinty Dull Longwear one. I think I'm going to do a wear test video of this. If you guys are interested in that, so please subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a lot of content um, coming, um, as well as a lot of honest feedback. So if you're interested in that and you like me, please subscribe to my channel but today we're going in with the morphe 2 hide and peak concealer and this is in the shade peak of vanilla got a little zip right here i think that's all i have to cover And this Morphe concealer is like really hydrating, pretty easy to blend in as well. All the concealers I've tried, this one is probably one of the lightest coverages. But it works perfect with this Estee Lauder Double Wear because it's a sheer lighter coverage. So this just kind of blends in under the eyes. I really like to match my concealer to my base product. Um, moving along here, I'm just going to go in and I'll show you the products that I'm using but this right here is the powder I'm using the Catrice uh, uh, True Skin Loose Mineral Powder All right, guys, this is the final look with all the products on it. I think it looks really good um, for a lighter coverage product. I feel like my skin looks really beautiful, um, and that's really what I dig. I like healthy, glowy, beautiful skin. It does say on the website that it's like a matte finish, but this isn't matte, honey. This is not matte. And I did powder it down, and some of the products that I use, the glowiest products that I use was this Essence Blush and the Jaclyn Hill Highlight, but... I didn't give all of this glow. It's been glowy before I put these products on, but I'm going to continue to wear this, guys, and I'm going to check back in with you guys um, at the end of the night and show you what all of this looks like so we can test this out and find us at, find out if this is a long-wearing product, just like it claims. Back. This is after about nine hours of wear with this foundation, and it's kind of worn away a lot, like, on the forehead and on the sides of the nose and mouth, but otherwise looks pretty good. It was pretty light coverage foundation from the beginning, but this is the way it looks. It doesn't really move around or get into any fine lines or wrinkles or anything like that, but just a lightweight sheer foundation like it states. Long wearing, hmm, I'm not sure about that. I'll continue to test it, and this will be in like a monthly favorites, fails, and follow ups video. If you guys like this video, please give this a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you watching my video today. Take care. Bye.